Our next caller is Eric from Texas. Hey, what's up, Eric? How can we help you? How's it going? So uh, my question for you guys is a little bit of a two-parter. And so the first part is kind of just like when you're going after addressing imbalances between like left and right, uh, kind of trying to ensure that you're not creating new issues in the process. And then also as you're identifying those uh, imbalances and addressing them, kind of making sure that you're not overdoing it. And so, you know, I've probably got about seven years of weightlifting experience under my belt. Uh, probably about four of them actually knowing what I was doing before that. It was just a lot of bodybuilding. Let me go get a pump in the gym type exercises. And then I stumbled across uh, Mike Matthews's Bigger, Leaner, Stronger uh, program. And so I started running that. I made great strength gains, but I wasn't really paying attention to like how I was lifting if I was doing everything correctly. Uh, and then Mike introduced me to you guys' podcast, and I, I learned a ton about imbalance. And so one of the things that I kind of noticed was like when I'm squatting, I've got my left foot pointed at 12 o'clock, and then my right foot's more at like 2 o'clock. And so, you know, one of those things that I was trying to address was that that lack of external rotation on the left side. And so, you know, I started working at that for probably about a year. And then uh, I started doing like split squats instead of just like regular barbell squats. And I started getting a lot of pain on my left hip. And so, you know, like that kind of frustrated me because I'm trying to do the right thing by addressing the imbalance. And then all of a sudden now I've got hip pain. Uh, And then like another thing was I noticed I had forward shoulder. And so I started working on that retraction of the shoulder blade and then down the line i take progress pictures and now i see like oh i think i have a wing scapula on the left side but Mm -hmm. my right shoulder still looks like it's rolled forward and so you know like i'm really trying to make sure that i'm addressing the imbalances but not creating new issues in the process and like i don't know if i'm doing too much uh too much work trying to fix things and maybe that's why i'm getting like the hip pain there's there's Uh, there's a lot yeah. to unpack here. Hold on. There's a, let's, yeah. Let, yeah, we, yeah well, we, so I, first let's, let's, I want to get to the bottom of the, what hip, right? So you, you, you explain the feet, right? So you have a more of an extra rotation on the right the, side. Yeah, the right side is externally rotated more than the left side. Correct. Just putting torsion yes. going in one direction. Right. And so the they're trying to, so then compensate. you're the, the hip flexor that you're feeling that's, that's has pain or that's, that is more tight. Is it on your left or your right side? I would say it's my hip flexor that feels tight, but sort of like the pain is kind of where like the femur is, you know, like uh, in like that hip socket. Is it kind of like on the back by like on, on like the posterior side? Right, right. Is it on the right side or left side? On the left side. Okay. It's on the opposite side that's externally rotating. Well, I have a quick comment here, Eric, um, that I think generally will help you here. Okay. So the, here's why what's happening to you is happening. Okay. And this is common when people do correctional exercise. This is why we make such a heavy emphasis on technique form intention when doing correctional exercise. So you're, you're focusing on scapular retraction You developed winging because you did it wrong. You were actually doing your technique and form was not uh, was not correct. So what you were actually doing is you were trying to bring the shoulder blades back, but we were probably doing is practicing a little bit of winging on one Mm -hmm. side, right? So correctional exercise, there form and technique is so important. All the intention. It's all. It's so 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 important. You have to watch the videos, and your form has to be exactly like what you see in the video. No deviation whatsoever. Otherwise, you're going to train and create something else. How do we do that? Well, watch the technique and go easier. You might be going too hard. You might be going so hard with the intensity that your your technique is moving in the wrong direction. So you can do correct. I've seen people do this, by the way. They'll do correctional exercise. They're like, oh, I, I, I know that rows help with forward shoulder, so I'm going to do lots of rows. And they end up with worse forward shoulder. How, how did that happen? Well, let me see you do a row. Oh, that's why, because you're training the row in a way that's encouraging forward shoulder. So, you know, we could try to break down specifically what we're going to recommend. I think that's almost impossible without assessing you. But I think generally, whatever you were doing correctionally, your technique intention was wrong. Now, can you overdo it? Yeah, you can overdo anything. But if your technique and form is perfect, daily practice, twice a day for about 10 minutes, 
is probably going to be ideal. For this you. may be a situation too, where you need to pull a coach in to observe uh, what your body is actually doing. Uh, Cause I know a lot of times like clients will be emulating what they see in a video or what, what the coach is trying to get you to do, but don't really realize, uh, you know, yeah. what, what's actually happening as you're going through these movements with your joints, but definitely the cues. So something that, you know, Adam was able to address in, in the prime pro, uh, webinar was was a lot of those very specific cues of how you need to feel your way through those very uh, intensive type of mobility drills. So that's the direction I was going to go. So Eric, have you followed that uh, Prime Pro webinar that I did? As a matter of fact, I actually bought Prime Pro about a month ago. And in between the time that I submitted my question and now I've been running Prime Pro and I would say like my hip, if it, I don't have pain anymore. <laughs> so I've reduced my load. I've actually <laughs> just answered your own question. Higher rep range. So like now, you know, there's not as much load. I'm working in a higher rep range. So it's lighter weight. And I can really just focus on putting my body in the right alignment before I, you know, when I'm going through my workouts and like, yeah, like I said, my hip feels uh, incredibly better now. That a boy. Awesome. That's so. That was the so the first <laughs> thing I was going to say. Uh, and if you haven't uh, the the Prime Pro webinar, I actually like take you through. So you can, if there's some movements, maybe you weren't un you're unsure of, or you want to see what the guys are talking about when it, when they say the intent and how I do it so important. So take advantage of that. It's absolutely free. So watch it if you get a chance. Uh, and then the other thing I want to be able to give you is access to our forum. Justin was alluding to a coach. I'll one up that instead of you paying for a coach or I'm going to give you free oh, free access there to our go. forum. When you get into the forum, say hi to all of us and then uh, post a video of you squatting so we can actually see so we can get to the bottom of this instead of us uh, guessing and speculating and trying to figure out if you that one of the number one things that people use our forum for is exactly that it's filled with other movement uh, specialists and coaches and pts and we're in there and they, they people love to post videos of their form doing something and then the community if we'll get to you or us will get to you and be able to kind of give you some some tips on what might be going on Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. Thanks yeah. for calling in. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, technique and form is always important, but boy, when it comes to correctional exercise, like that is everything. And you would be surprised, not you guys, but the people watching, you would be surprised at how hard it is with zero resistance mm -hmm. when you have certain imbalances. Zero resistance. So what people tend to do is they see a movement with a band or they want to use resistance on correctional exercise, and that's what they do, when in fact, they can't even get the movement down perfect with no resistance whatsoever. So you have to get perfect. Otherwise, what you're training is not what you're trying to aim for. Well, here's a, a – and I, I, I actually really like to try and – you know, figure out what these people, I know you, you stopped us. So it didn't go for an hour of us trying to oh, yeah. <laughs> unpack everything he was doing, but I do enjoy trying to, to help somebody that's like detective work. It is right. Especially when I can't see it and I'm like trying to like get, get what he's saying and then try and visualize it and go I like, know. Oh, this yeah, is this probably, is what I would probably do with him. But I mean, right away, some real key things that I heard was that the one side he's, he's, is externally wrote. So when he squats, one of his feet mm -hmm. is opening up, right? One side is opening up way more than the other side. Which right away, right away will tell me that he's probably shifting to another side when he squats. Which is putting a lot of torsion and stress on the other side. That's right, which is where probably the tight hip flexor and pain is coming from because that side's getting overweight. It's it's carrying more of the load when he squats X amount of pounds because he's shifting over to that side. So uh, right away we could and and, a, and a, this starts at the feet, right? He starts by addressing his ankle uh, ankle mobility, his foot strength. Then he works his way up to his hips on the internal external rotation, the ability to abduct and adduct, and then we work all all the way up from there. But um, absolutely, the, how you do this, the intent when you do the correctional exercise is so it's everything important. Yeah. Otherwise, it becomes actually kind of worthless mm -hmm. because you're not you're or not detrimental. That, exactly. Yeah. By the way, the place you can see the webinar that we're talking about is primeprowebinar.com.